Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? The great Sir Tom Finney celebrating his 90th birthday with his biggest fans, his friends and family. A toast to a wonderful life and remarkable career. And there's the great sportsman Tom Finney. It's more than half a century since he played his last game of football, yet Sir Tom is still worshipped across the globe. From Romania, Hungary, Germany, and that's one that's for his birthday. Brian Finney ensures every piece of fan mail finds its way to his dad, who now lives in a local care home. He's not so bad overall. Um, Obviously, he's getting a bit uh, unsteady on his pins, and um, his memory's not very, very good these days. A short-term memory, but overall, he's not doing too bad. What has it been like to be Tom Finney's son? Difficult question. That um, I mean, obviously, very proud. Did get me in a few scrapes when I was a school <laughs> school kid when. Kids would taunt me, you know, Matthews is a better player than Finney, etc. But obviously being my dad, I thought he was the best thing since sliced bread. An opinion shared by a fellow footballing knight. One of the, the great players, arguably the greatest player that, that's ever been. I never, ever dreamt that one day I would play with him. We played against Scotland and we beat them 4-0. Tom Finney went past Alec Parker and chipped the ball back and I didn't even have to break into a, into a stride and it just came to me about two feet off and I, and I smashed it and it went, flew into the top corner. And Bobby Charlton runs in for a magnificent goal. I just couldn't believe that, that I'd, I'd scored a goal like that and Tommy Finney had helped me. I mean, Tommy Finney. Send the ball with Lance House, Taylor, Finney. Capped 76 times by his country, Tom Finney dedicated his entire career to his hometown club, Preston. A gentleman of the game, he was never sent off, not even booked. A two-footed genius who was equally as useful with a wrench, doubling up as the Preston plumber, all a far cry from today. Is he the kind of player that would have made it in any era? Yes. Imagine Tommy Finney playing on a field like that from the beginning, and the, the, the season never ends. Right? Just magic. I'm the only one that's played with them at club level and at a national level. Tommy Thompson was a teammate, next door neighbour and best friend. They even shared an allotment. I think the suite now open, Tommy Thompson suite. We used to have a, a, a fry up, chips and sausages and that sort of stuff. And we used to pick the team for Saturday, of course. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody, or, or anyone really, that's, that you could say is another Tom Finney. He's so well known and, and, and held by people, you know, it's, it, it's smashing really. I wish I was like that. <laughs> In his day, I think he was probably as good as there was. And the ball rolls to Finney, who slams it in for the goal of the match. You never saw Tom Finney feign injury or dive or look at the referee or anything like that. He just played and got on with it. He endeared himself not only to the people in Preston, the country like Tom Finney. Which is why today, on his 90th birthday, the tributes are pouring in. Happy birthday, Tom, and we hope that you'll have many more. From Blackpool, we might be your rivals, but you know, we've been friends many years. I'd just like to say to you, Tom, we're all thinking of you. What you've achieved as a football and as a human being has been unparalleled in, in football. That everyone recognises the contribution you made to Preston North End and to England. You've given so many people so much fun and so much pleasure. If you can remember that, that, that means thousands and thousands and thousands of people that were lucky enough to see you play. It's been a pleasure to have known you and have met you and it's a pleasure to say to you today happy 90th birthday.